guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i have made a list of frequently asked questions in the comments of my channel so i will be going through each of them individually obviously i have already replied in my comments but i want to go through this in detail as a full video because these are like most asked question like multiple times so this video will answer all of them i guess um so first question what documents we should attach while emailing professors so while you email you should attach your cv and after you get your transcript you should attach that after you get your gre ilts score you should write your score within the email don't attach your mark sheet uh, but you can just mention your score uh, as a bullet points kind of like that so yeah second point can we use same sop to apply different universities for same major or program yes of course you can use your same sop to apply for different universities but the same major as far as i know it's not a problem you just have to change the professor's name the specific university's name and some detail third question is uh, do i have published papers does it matter so yes i had published paper while i was applying to university but i was not the first author as far as i know it doesn't matter for you to have like published papers compulsorily as yes, some professors do look for published papers in some students but i think most of the professors in us don't mind if you don't have any published papers you just have to be good student and you know what you're doing kind of thing like um i think nowadays they are mostly looking for students who can solve situational problem rather than like having um, like high GRE score um, like lot of published papers kind of thing you know papers doesn't really matter you don't have to fear if you don't have published paper if you have that's very good for you and um, it might work um, as a bonus for you but if you don't have you don't have to fear because there are lots of students here who came for a masters even direct phd and doesn't have any published papers so you don't have to fear fourth point can i email different professors from same department and same uni from one university from one department i suggest email all of them at the time we are emailing we think like oh if i email this professor and he, if he talks about me with other professor he will know that i'm not i'm not emailing only him or something like that but it doesn't matter you just they know that that you are searching for a professor and it doesn't matter it's totally okay if you email all of them all the whole department but in one university don't email uh, two different departments at the same time uh, maybe some gaps you can uh, i did reply uh, like email like that but one friend suggested that you should email all of the professors from one department at a one time and for other department you should wait for a while you know kind of like that fifth question is it too late to start for fall 2024 as of today it's september 15 2023 we have just started with fall 2023 and it's the perfect time for you to apply for not apply for process of applying to us the whole process not the application process uh it's it's the perfect time because now you need to start your gre if it's needed you have to do your ilts everything everything generally you have to have one year in mind for all the process because uh, it might take one year with all of the gre and uh, application process so yeah it's the it's not too late it's perfect 
the sixth question for Nepali students which states are cheaper is there Nepali community where I live so cheaper states you can search in Google but in case of Louisiana it's cheaper in comparison to many states in USA and um, yeah like uh, if you compare Louisiana with California or other states the rent the gas uh, uh, fuel I mean and every other thing is very cheap than the other states is there a Nepali community yes um, we have Nepali Student Association here. If you are coming to Louisiana State University or Louisiana in general, you can email or message any of us. You can email me about uh, any questions you have about Louisiana or anything. Um, if you are coming here as a student, you can email us and one of us to look for apartments or any other help. So the seventh question is should i start emailing before i get my transcript or gre acts i would recommend email earlier because even if you don't have your scores you can just mention in your email that you have taken this this date even if you don't have you, you can just mention i have taken this this date for the gre exam or you can say i'll take it soon or anything just let them know you are planning to uh, take it the exam you should totally start emailing as soon as possible and uh, one suggestion about this you should also do follow-up email uh, after like if one professor doesn't need students now but after a few months they may need and they rarely go through past emails to email uh, you uh, because they like continuously have emails so you know um, you can do follow-up email you can get some opportunity at that time you know even if you don't get any response in the first email just make a list of everything you do and do follow-up emails to the professors you haven't uh, who haven't responded to number eight can we work outside in masters so students can work 20 hours per week and in if you are in RA or TA ship you already have your 20 hours per week inside the all of the work so you can't work outside it's actually you can't work outside in general because it's illegal but on campus uh, I think you can but not more than 20 hours so we have already completed our 20 hours per week timeline or slot um, so we can't work outside and the, we also get stipend enough stipend from the assistance so you don't have to number nine what if we don't have any research and papers i already discussed this i don't know why i put same questions two times so if you don't have any research and paper what can you do mm. papers is fine if you don't have papers it's fine but research i think uh, students in agriculture have experience because we do upa or like mm, undergrad thesis kind of thing you know, where do we do where we do some research um, or you can just put but we have research experience because uh, e even the class projects something like that we have we are we do um, comes under research experience so it's fine for agriculture students for others um, I don't really have idea like what kind of research for i think um yeah about that i think i will make separate videos um with students from different departments uh, and talk about like their application process how is it and how did they get 
assistance or something like that uh, so it might help you stay tuned for that and uh, last question there are different types of professor who should be email so i will tell you the timeline of academic uh, journey okay so i am a master's student now for example if i do my phd then postdoc uh, then i get some position in university for teaching uh, for example assistant professor or research associate kind of thing then uh, from assistant professor uh, after a few years of teaching and um, I get to higher position which is associate professor and from years of experience uh, with that position I will get the professor position but you know how it goes the hierarchy the professors are in the highest position and often they already have like published so many works done so many work and rarely um, hire students for assistantship but they do hire you can email them but they rarely hire and for research associate and assistant professor they are the main targets you should email because um, assistant professors mainly they have started just recently and they are like hiring students um, doing lots of works kind of like that and so don't email postdocs research uh, professors uh, extension specialist research associate yeah uh, you don't have to email those people you just email assistant professor associate professor and professors so i think that's it for today's video um let me know if you have more questions in the comments i can reply you okay so thank you for watching guys bye bye